Hey everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners, where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video here, I'll be showing you how to install your own compression fittings for a coax cable. A specialty tool is required for this. I do have a toolkit available from Klein Tools. I'll include a link to this from Amazon in the video description. It's an affiliated link, so I get a bit of cutback to keep my channel going without any added cost to you. As you can see, I have a new coax cable, which was ran through the wall for the cable TV and internet. Unfortunately, I can't get the correct length, and the one currently available is too long. Therefore, I'm making my own. Here I have the coax cable cutter. This is used to cut the cable to the appropriate length. There is a lock which needs to be disengaged to open up the cutters. I have already marked out the required length for the cables. There are two different cables here, running to two separate locations, therefore the other one needs to be cut too. Next is using the case cutter. As you can see it has a plunger, this is pushed inwards, it reveals a blade which cuts the casing on the coax cable. The cable is inserted into the hole. The cutter also has a stopper to set the appropriate depth on the cable casing. This is the correct depth for the compression connector. Ensure that the depth gauge is in place. Push down the plunger to open up the blade and then fully insert the cable until it stops. Release the plunger so the blade is against the casing, then rotate it three to four times. This may vary between the cables depending on their construction. Push down the plunger and then pull out the cable. As you can see the cable is stripped back. This exposes the outer ground casing and the inner conductor. Again another go using the other cable. Make sure the cutoff portion has been removed from the stripper. Lock the depth gauge into place, push down the plunger to open up the blade, and then insert the cable. Release the plunger and then rotate three to four times to strip the casing. Finally, pull off the tool. And here's a close up of both of those stripped connections. Now for installing the compression connector, pull back the outer ground wire onto the exterior casing. Try to keep this even around the exterior so it's not bunched up in one area as this may cause problems with the compression connector. Here's the compression connector. Push it over top of the newly stripped cable. Ensure it's pushed on all the way. You may need to wiggle it back and forth to get it into place. The inner white casing should be against the metal ring inside the compression connector. Next is using the compression tool. The cable is inserted into the right side, then the handle is pushed down, and as you can see the plunger pushes out against the body where the connector locks into place. Insert the compression connector with the cable and lock it into the plunger. Once it's in place, push down the handle. Make sure that cable is fully seated, otherwise you'll have to start over. Once the connector has been compressed, here you can see the difference between the outer sleeve. Again, using the second example, push the cable into the compression connector. Once in place, then insert the connector and cable into the compression tool. Push down the handle in the compression tool to close up the compression connector. Release the handle to release the connector. And as you can see, we have another connection done, which is now ready to be used. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my home DIY channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.